All right, now one device seven is not too far away. Now recently, CID on Twitter tweeted, uh, he shared a screenshot where the beta moderator has said that we are still planning for one device seven beta, but the date is not confirmed yet. We will notify the news on Samsung members application once the date is confirmed. So till now, there is no confirmation on the dates for one device seven beta. However, we already know a lot of things about one device seven. There were too many leaks on the internet, but all of a sudden, all these leaks have stopped. But in this video, I wanted to talk about what we can expect on One UI 7. So let's go ahead and do that. But before that, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe. More than 80% of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel yet. So go ahead, subscribe. You're gonna learn a lot about your phone. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead. Now the first major change we are gonna see on One UI 7 is the animations. Here is another leak about the One UI 7 animations. It looks very fluid and fast uh, compared to the previous animations that we had and it looks like the animation will completely change on One UI 7 that is what we are expecting. We already have great animations on One UI 6.1 but there is something missing. The main ingredient is the smoothness that is missing on One UI all this while with respect to the animations because uh, if you look at the Pixel phones or iOS the animations are much more smoother whereas on Samsung Galaxy phones it is snappier which is liked by a lot of people out there but smoother animations would make the animations look really good and that is going to be pleasing to the eyes. It may be opening the applications, uh, bringing down the quick panel or you know uh, going to the recent applications. If the animations and transitions on all these tasks are smoother it is going to be really nice. So that is what we can expect on One UI 7. It looks like it, it's going to change completely. Uh, let's wait and see that. Next we are expecting One UI 7 to enhance the battery performance on the existing devices as well as the upcoming devices. The battery performance is really good on Samsung Galaxy phones already but with One UI 7 maybe there will be some enhancement especially the dose mode is going to be improved is what uh, we know. The dose mode defers the background activity, the network activity etc thereby saving some battery. This has already been there on the Android phones but it looks like on Android 15 the dose mode will be much much more improved. Uh, that's what we can expect on One UI 7 as well. Definitely the battery performance improvement is going to be a welcome change. Let's wait and see that. Next we have got one hand reachability. Now we have already seen in one of the leaks where the application tray has got the search bar at the bottom now. Whereas in the current version we have it on the top uh, so the reachability is always an issue we will have to use both the hands to reach the top search bar. Now in one of the leaks we have seen the search bar uh, move to the bottom which is again a welcome change because it will be very easy to use the phone in one hand search for the applications and it seems that throughout the UI the one hand usability will be improved on One UI 7. We all know that from the inception of One UI we have got one hand usability on most of the system applications and uh, most of the other areas on the phone. However this has not been throughout the UI there has been inconsistency so we had uh, some of the menus on the top some menus at the bottom uh, so reachability is always an issue especially on the devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra 3 Ultra any of the Ultra these big phones you will have reachability issues one hand reachability on the uh, UI is going to be very very important uh, and with One UI 7 it seems that one handed usability has been improved. Next we have got a completely revamped UI we have got brand new icons for the applications the system applications which we have already seen in the past we are going to get a brand new quick panel and we also have a brand new lock screen on which we have got some additional widgets uh, especially the uh, battery information widget is very very nice on the all new One UI 7's lock screen so that we have already seen in the previous leaks. And some of the leaksters on X have mentioned that uh, you're going to have an all new experience with One UI 7. We are going to feel that we are experiencing something new completely different from what we have seen so far on One UI. So let's wait and see it's going to be very very exciting for sure. So now we know we are going to get the brand new animations. Uh, we are going to get much improved battery performance on One UI 7 and a completely revamped UI with brand new uh, system icons, uh, the quick panel as well as the lock screen and one handed reachability will also be improved on uh, One UI 7 which is going to be fantastic. Now we are just waiting for the first beta. Uh, I'm expecting the first beta to come at least by uh, end of this month or probably by beginning the first week of next month. Let's wait and see that I will keep you guys posted. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet be sure you subscribe because there will be a lot of contents coming up uh, with regard to the One UI 7 as soon as uh, we get the beta I will keep you guys posted about it so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this uh, useful and do let me know what do you think about the all new One UI 7 drop a comment that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye